Welcome back to AOBUC, Shirahama Beach in the Wakayama province of Japan. We've got a beautiful game here, a mixed match between the Pirates of the Philippines and Ulu Ulu of Japan. One of the final games of pool play here as we get set for the bracket play in day four tomorrow. We're just joining this team here. That was Alec Tucker, and I myself will be joined. My name is Jonathan Santos. It's going to be an exciting match between the Philippines and Japan. Japan, Olo Olo has got an even record, I believe, of 2 2. So, this is going to be interesting to see how they're going to perform against the, um, the Kings, if not the Kings of Beach Ultimate. And quickly there, a hawk from Japan is no good. Pirates starting quickly here, working the disc all the way across the field. Back to the middle now. That continuation was shut off and just outside of the bidding try of number five. Japan now with a chance to keep this one on serve. Pirates sideline getting loud. Asking them to force hard, and that force works as the around throw was just too far. Again, starting quickly, fast break offense from the Pirates. All of a sudden, quickly calms it down, but shoots it to the end zone. Filipinas Pirates up one. Starting off with a break. Nice throw down the line to the end zone. Again, picking up the disc quick. Looking down, nice flat throw down the line. Nice job by the Pirates there, converting on their second break chance. Olu Olu has to settle down here. The Pirates have shown once they get on the break train, they can pull away from these games quickly. 4-0 for them so far in the tournament as they get a nice pull. That bounces off a Japan player and rolls all the way to the back of the end zone. Japan forced to start in their end zone, still deep. Great defense as the sideline is just getting loud, urging their players, everybody calling out the force. Max Max on the D here, good pressure from the mark. A shot goes up, Max Max on the D as he jumps up for the sky. Beautiful defensive effort as he picks up the disc, swings it to number six. Swinging it to 77 all the way across the field. Nice, easy reset there to keep the disc in flow. Pirates staying very calm, happy to just play catch with each other. Max streaking down the middle of the field deep. He's all by himself as he gets it near the end zone. Here come some more Pirates to back him up. And then a quick dishy to Max Max. A bookend score, the D and the goal. Grabbing his ankle there. Early, early. Pull comes up from the Pirates. Again, their sideline being extremely loud. Rain down to defend. Japan forced to start in their own end zone. A deep shot here. Number three from Japan, trying to get in position. Goes up for it, but unsuccessful. A foul called on 98, but then rescinded. Pirates picking up the disc quickly. Ooh, great step out and break throw. Easy reset to 98, who now swings it to the middle. 
So quick in the beach are these Pirates. Justin now with the disc, shoots it to the end zone and an easy score. Three breaks in a row for Philippines. And it's just gonna be an incredible uphill battle for Japan Oluolu. You can see they're trying their might on the long shot games, but the Filipinas Pirates, they are quite adept at the vertical battle and they are able to hang tough with any nation whatsoever. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the Japanese team adjusts their offense. Japan throwing a number of different people out on these lines. So I'm curious if they have a consistent O-line or if they really just work everyone into the mix here. Still very early in this game, so Olu Olu just has to get one to build their confidence. Nice quick movement to the break side. Another nice continuation throw. 76 with the disc now. Looking towards the middle but takes the easy dump. Able to get it back after a self-tap. Oh, this one just gonna be shoots high. too high. And again, the Pirates just always so quick to start their offense. Here goes Bullentoy all the way across the field, but that one goes down. For a second there, I thought, I'm going to go out of the lane, that was Kaki able to to get the pass but just looks like it's down yeah this is actually the pirates o-line out here on this defensive point showing that they have a lot of defensive prowess picking it up and immediately shooting it towards the end zone prika just always seems to find herself there that's another score for her tournament total and Prika, that's her first score here in this game. It'll be her 16th point in the tournament. And how about number 11 with the D, reading the disc really well, picking that up, and just the confidence to immediately shoot that to the end zone. Looks like, yes, Jap the Philippines Pirates being led by none other by Bulantoy as well as Prika Kasid Sid. These two players have seen a lot of connections so far. And Abuda with that point, she's getting a little extra camera time here after that highlight. Pirates set to pull again. Hopefully from Olu, Olu be able to get something in return and they quickly hook it to the end zone, but just floats out of bounds. Testing Filipinas Pirates might on defense. And here we go again, another chance to increase the lead to five. Pirates coach calling out what he wants to see from the stack. Disc tapped in from Japan. Quick work to get it halfway up the field, but that one goes down. Just outside of the bidding try of the Pirates. Olu Olu here, a chance to get their first point. Great upline cut. Nice inside throw and a pick called here. It's gonna halt play. Japan with the wind here. A few deep throws that have just gone a slightly out of reach. Stahl's gonna come in on six here. Japan has to work quickly. 
Sees an opportunity, but the Pirates all over that one. Consistent theme here. Quick D to O. Not letting the other line set up. Not giving them a breath to relax. Good patience from 28, not to force that one into the middle. Taking the easy dump. Maintaining possession. Now she cuts all the way across that field to receive this one. Pirates knocking on the door once again. And the upline cut just too lethal here for Japan. Great movement from the Filipina Spire. It's just really being patient with the disc, just moving it one side to the other. But also, what I noticed from them is when they cut deep and they don't see, or they've been waved up, that deep cutter would immediately either come in or make a lateral cut to get that easy forward pass, a mid-range pass, and just continue the movement. And something that's always very consistent from the Filipinas Pirates as well so exciting to see that they're still able to look able to generate offense from that movement it's a great point and that really happens because they're committing so hard to their cut they really really make it seem like they're gonna go deep which allows them the easy under as another excellent pull continues to force Japan to work the entire 75 yards of this beach pitch. Oh, number 10. Rika not only can score, she can play D and then zip across the field as that one just slips out of her hands, but what a D. Out called by Japan. Opportunity to take a breath here. My gosh, what a play. And it looks like a timely timeout from Japan because I was just observing them. It looks like they want to, to, to talk to them amongst themselves saying, look, let's try to calm down, not play within the Filipino Pirates' space. We try to play our own play, as you mentioned from the replay, great bid from Prika. Look at that effort just to get the D, pick it up, swing it, and then cut all the way across the field. She had it, but it just slipped out of her fingers. But that D, just so impressive to track that disc down. Philippines here, our flag waving in the wind as you get to see. Malaysia, Korea, all these nations proudly representing their country. Japan, India, and AOBUC. And as you said, Japan just needs to take a moment here to settle in. Still so early in this game. And very thankful. I just wanted to say it was really, we're, we're just really trying, thankful of the hospitality of Japan Flying Disc Association doing an extremely great job organizing this huge tournament here for the Asia Oceanic Beach Ultimate Championship. Props to all the volunteers that has been all over the field doing help whatever they can. And really appreciate them how this tournament has been organized. And the support from Japan has been amazing. And here, number 15 of Philippine Pirates makes quick work. Max Max looks for a team, his teammate gets it back here. Swings it to the others in the middle. Oh, and again, again, Filipinas Pirates steamrolling in this game with a 6-0 lead. Six straight breaks for the Philippines as they're starting to pull away here. So look at the replay. But another, again, great Red Sun offense. And as we were saying, just a beautiful location here for this amazing tournament. As you get a view of the ocean, this nice white sand. Games taking place here in Shirahama. Also in the next town over in Tanabe. And the support from Japan has just been amazing. 
We had the mayor, the governor here in the opening ceremony. And now the Minister of Tourism is over in Tanabe checking out the spectacle of this sport. It's great that you mentioned it, Tucker. I was about to say that as well, but great. It's just, if you're the host country, it's just great to see the support from your government being able to at least support your athletes and also other nations as well about this growing sport that we hope to reach to the general public to really enjoy and see how much this sport has grew over the years. And here we go, Olu Olu trying to get their first point here, 55. Pass it, there, there goes a first shot to the end zone and he plucks it out of the air. First point for Olu Olu, Japan. That one made me a little bit nervous as the wind seemed to pick up and speed that disc up. But a beautiful read by the cutter and a great throw. Nice first point for Olu Olu. And here, look at the replay just to see how that play transpired. It looks like that was number at least helped Japan team mentally be able to see their first score. You hope that can spark a little bit of momentum. Again, a great play. Teammates celebrating together, going to bring a little joy to this Japan team. They got to get rolling here on the defensive side as we see the Philippines Pirates O-line. Quickly working, shot to the end zone. But good defense from Japan, denying Bullentoy the space. So Japan now is going to have the opportunity for a break. Bullentoy setting up wide. Nice big mark. Japan squeezing it into the sideline. Oh, a big aggressive bid. Unsuccessful there for the Pirates. And a nice inside break throw. Japan finally rolling here. And an unfortunate drop for 33. Bolentoy quickly picks it up. Shot to the end zone and a score for the Pirates. They take half, 7-1. 7-1 indeed and a great score. From number 26, Jacqueline Gamboa. And they are definitely steamrolling this match. And well expected as they are the kings of beach ultimate in Asia. As they are here to defend their crown from the 2019 AOBUC Championship. Yeah, the Pirates really tested yesterday and an excellent game versus the India mixed team. If you missed it, you can go watch the replay. AOBUC Day 2 broadcast. I promise you will not be disappointed. That was definitely their biggest challenge so far in this tournament, but now the Pirates seem to be rolling. And this is giving them maybe a little bit of flexibility to maybe allow some of their star players a little bit of rest. Very quick half there, under 20 minutes. A quick eight points from both of these teams. Japan set to pull, ends up just over half field. A swing to the middle of the field. Japan doing more of a junky zone look. A deep cut, but a holster from number 10. Again, this zone look from Japan, trying to mix things up, trying to make the Pirates think. 
A crazy bid by number 30, but not quite there. Can they recover? Pirates taking their time. Nice and easy. Beautiful swings around and around. Happy to make the defense work and shift. And it looks like this is going to be the first zone deep zone defense from Japan here. And it looks like it's going to slow down momentary the offense, but just like that, Filipinas Pirates punches their eighth score. Rika putting all of her skills on to the center of the field to find her teammate. 8-1 Pirates. Just amazing of the composure and the skills of Filipinas Pirates full on full display. And we hope that Olo Olu has got something to say in terms of making a comeback. This team, Olo Olu, is being led by number 52, Yoshito Ishimura, who's got five assists and five goals in this tournament. So we hope to see Ishimura make a play for their team and rally the, the troops. Another throw that goes just out of reach for Japan. And the Pirates shot out of a cannon. Just so quick to pick up that disc and start their offense. And another point for the Pirates here. Their breaks just dominating this game as they go up 9-1. to one. We eat haven't even approached the 25th minute mark and they're already at nine points already. Just goes to show how much little this Barakai Pirates offense once it gets going. You don't see many teams that play at this pace throughout the entire game. They are just so consistent with how they work and Bullentoy just had to wait there for that disc. But again, he was the one that started the offense, picked up the disc, swung it to the other side, stre streaking all the way down the field to get this one. That pull just slightly too far, giving Japan the opportunity to finally set up on the brick and set up a more stable offense. The pulls from the Pirates have been elite so far this game, but that one just sails a little bit too far. Let's see how Japan sets up. A great fill from the top of the stack. Continuation, shot goes up, but this one's gonna be a little bit too far. Once again, Pirates quickly pick it up. Looking long, decides not to shoot it, goes up line to Max Max. Max Max looking at the middle of the field. Justin goes up line, but a swing. Right back to Max Max in the middle, all the way across the field. And another score for the Pirates makes this 10 to one. Absolutely dominating this game with speed and intensity. I'm at loss of words of this. Their work, they've been putting months in from Barakai, a beautiful island in the Philippines. They've got a strength and conditioning coach that gets them to be so successful on the beach. So when they're not working on their disc skills, they're working on their conditioning, which you can see is paying off here. And I think that's always been something to, to say in terms of how this sport has grew. You see more players really putting more focus on the strength and conditioning part of the game. Apart from the skill saving, but here Japan has their own shot here, and it is denied by Maming from the Filipinas Pirates. And just look at the catch-up speed. Justin was beat on that play, 
and then absolutely just turns on the Jets to get in front of the disc and a beautiful swat away. Justin with the disc now. Looking towards the middle of the field. Nice and chilly swing back to the break side. Looking to break the mark. But decides to go to the open side. Full swing now for the Pirates. Okay. Pushing it up the field to Prika. It's an amazing effort from Philippines Fires, but the pass is too far. But I'm just saying, great attention to detail of cutting long and then getting back in. This is a success of Philippines Fires, but here, Olo Olu has got a chance here. Number 13, Tanaguchi, fakes it. Tanaguchi to the sideline. That's number 10, Takahashi. Takahashi looking. Great defense. Oh, has to shoot it. Zigzag, zigzag pass but gets it, and it will go to Japan for their second score. Amazing display of skills. Some beautiful throws from Japan there as they get a highlight of their own. Some beautiful break throws to set up that cross field flick for the score. Looks like an unforced error. So that looks like an unforced error, a very rare from the Philippines Pirates that caused that turnover, but Japan able to take advantage of that. Let's see if this is gonna spark somewhat of a comeback from Olu Olu to make it work. And as we've said in some previous games, again, an opportunity to learn at these elite tournaments. So even when you're fighting to come back in this game, there's so many things that you can take away to improve your game. Improve and that. So again, here we go. This will start with none other but Dan Bolantoy. Giving some other players an opportunity to get some reps and make their mark on this tournament. Reps and make their mark on this tournament. And Japan with their zone defense of their own, forcing the swings. And just like that, shoots it. Almost a catch there, but great bother from the Japanese Olu Olu player. This is the first time that Japan is able to generate a turnover from their D-line. Again, that zone look from Japan has really made the Pirates work. All the Japan team seems to use this strategy. One handler back, four people in the stack. Break cut off the start, gets the offense in flow. Nice zigzag, shifty shoulder movement to get that break throw. And now a shot deep. Floating up there, and Japan comes down with it. Here we go, Japan on a little bit of a roll now. Two in a row, making this one 10 to three. Amazing presence of mind from number 23. As you look at the replay, that pass from number 76, Ching Chai. 22, Yushi Nakao. Great job to read it in, as you mentioned, a little mini run from the Japanese team. Read it in, as you mentioned, a little mini run from the Japanese team. Great effort there. Good read. Tough in this wind. Great job there. It's now 10-3 in favor of the Filipinas Pirates. Again, that was Yushi Nakao reading it in. From a pass from Yi Cheng Chai. Pirate sideline continues to be loud. Switching up the O line here. And this pass sailing, sailing. 
Hits a couple of people, but ends up on the ground. Japan quickly starting. One, two, one, two. Number two with the disc, swinging it to number three. Break pass to the end zone. And now it's three in a row for Japan, making it 10 to four. And the Pirates calling a timeout here, giving themselves a chance to settle down, chanting, it's okay, it's okay. But nice resiliency from Japan. Really good work here, number two to number three. Break throw in for the score. That's number 25 from Japan being able to reel it in. Number 25, now Asami being able to get that score for Japan Olu Olu. Again, 10 4, much. At least getting some progress. And some really great momentum from Japan there. Love to see them continue to fight, not giving up on this game maximum effort for the whole 45 minutes during the time out there you heard the coach of the pirates calling out a line stacking this one up i think he's had a little bit too much of japan celebrating in the end zone hoping to bring this one back in favor of the pirates the ball is off japan racing it towards the other side, seeing if they can force another turnover. Someone streaking long from Boracay Pares, or Philippine Aspires rather. It's another zone defense. See how it's going to look like. Off to the side. Bulantoy thought about it. Asking for his teammates to go a little down to make it a little bit easier. One two punch. Team Bedoy and Max Max. Bulantoy. Gives it to Binoy. Moving a little bit backwards, Philippines Pirates is, but that's okay. Oh, great pass there. It looks like a foul is going to be called. Good job from Japan here. Using that zone again. Forcing the Pirates to swing the disc. Lots and lots and lots of throws. Not allowing them to shoot it deep. Max Max with the disc now, swinging it to Bullentoy. Good job by this zone, forcing them to just stay horizontal. Nothing vertically down the middle of the field. Max Max has to come under for a poor man's dump. Swings it all the way. But now the Pirates are trapped on the sideline. A big swing goes up. But that's a great defense from Japan, forcing that. Not letting the easy crash for the easy dump, forcing them to really swing it further back to the middle of this field. Contact there between the mark and the thrower. Just a little bit of discussion. The mark saying they're just moving side to side. Gonna come back to zero and again trapped here. Uh, this is where nice. you want to be. Oh, fast is gonna be a little too high. Forces the turnover. Great defense from the Japanese. Shoot that one all the way across the field. A break throw that did get through the cup all the way out of bounds. A bit too high. And apart from forcing the swing swing there, it's really about. Oh, and a sorry turnover there from Japanese Olu Olu. It's how they defend the, the dump, where they crashed into that dump that makes them force Philippine Pirates to make a bad pass. But here they are again with his own defense. It's Max Max and Binoy. Binoy again here the sideline. 
Oh, and an easy score there. Filipinas Pirates with their 11 point. Who other than Prika? I believe that's her 18th goal for the tournament. Just an unreal stat as she's making her case for tournament MVP. And excellent to see they're not allowing for this to stay quite long, from the, especially on the sideline. You see that once Binoy caught it, when he saw Bulantoy open in the middle, no hesitation, sending it over there, and then they get the separation and score that they need. Another look at the beautiful Shirahama coastline. An amazing setting for this absolutely thrilling tournament. Pirates here in control of this one, 11 to four. But Japan has been rolling in the last few points. Here's Japanese Olu Olu again. Trying to get some momentum here. Great pass to number 24, Yoshida. Yoshida looking forward, looking for some help. Oh, looks like Stalkov is rising. Forrest to make a play here. Japanese play, and it looks like. It's gonna stay in. It's gonna stay in. Able to tip it in the play. Amazing concentration from number 13, Akihiro Taniguchi. Wow, what a throw. Corner, corner of the end zone. So much trust as they're giving a thumbs up to the camera. Hi, mom. Or dad. <laughs> great as you look at the replay, Stalkov was rising, had no other choice to send it there. And even with great concentration, despite. Oh, that was so close, partner. Wow, what a toe drag. An amazing concentration, one handed grab. Pirates defender looked like they had a chance at that one, but again, this wind has just been a little bit hard to read. It's constantly changing throughout the day. Again, scores 11-5, a lot more competitive than it was a while ago. Turnover from 28, not good there. That was Karen Grace Arban. Another chance for Olo Olu to inch closer. Someone's spinning deep, she sends it. There's a lot of air here. One on one battle is going to be won, but looks like a foul is being called from the motion of hand for the Japanese player. It looks like that's number 76, Yi Cheng Chai. If you look here at the replay, they get a better angle. Seems like there's also a foul call on the throw. Wow, and a great play by both players leaping up to get the disc. But again, the foul on the throw brings it back to the thrower, stall at zero. It's going back to Noriko Nakajima. Oh, and she also calls it another again. Able to get it at the edge, edge of the end zone. Oh, what a cheeky pass. Just too zippy for his flavor. Ben Yap looking. A sorry mistake there. Oh, Ben Yap sends it too fast. And this is one of the problems the Pirates had in their game against India yesterday. Gotta be patient. Can't be shooting it deep all the time because all these turnovers are gonna add up. 
You're exhausting your players and you're putting yourself in a difficult position. They're lucky that they're up six and have a little security blanket to work with. Indeed, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, and it's gonna go sailing out of bounds here. Another chance for Philippine Spire to get closer to point cap. Oh, Yap looking for a push pass. Nice break throw all the way around. Sets up that easy throw to the end zone. But a foul being called here. Oh, a stall being called. All the way back at the thrower. Players discussing here, a stall being called. This is always one of the most contentious calls when it comes to Frisbee. Game advisor getting involved. You can hear the players talking beautifully, saying, from my perspective, this is what happens. It's a great way to communicate with your opponent. So a contested stall here. Coming into nine and nine, coming into nine here. This is gonna be very important for the Olu. Oh, great able to. Oh, it looks like a turnover. Two players from the Pirates trying to make that play. Unable to do so, number 26, Nakajima, will start play. That's Chai. Chai sends it deep. Oh, but the Japanese player stumbles on her feet. 76, Yi Cheng had a great power position there. Nice aggressive cutting from Japan. Much better than what we saw earlier in the game. They've really stepped it up here in the second half. Here we go. Looks like we're just a look what kind of defense Japan will try to throw. It looks like it's going to be a little bit of a zone defense. Oh, they move back to man here. She's all alone, not able to make a play. Couple of errors here from Filipinas Pirates. Getting a little rattled. And again, even though they're there, you know, the cutters are streaking deep nicely. There seems to be that space. You got to make sure you're patient with your throw and really hitting your target. All this running could be damaging when it comes to bracket play in day four and five. Beautiful cut here from 76. And a nice break throw, but just out of bounds. Yap picking it up for the Pirates and quickly starting their offense. Oh, and Totter, uncharacteristic drop there. It looked like he was already looking for the pass again. And he redeems himself with a D. Not enough zip on that throw from Japan. Going into the wind. Pirates now with the wind in their sails. As they get it, almost a drop. Everybody on the sideline gasped as that one just looked too easy. And is that Prika again for another goal? Are we surprised? That's Prika again, but it looks like it is. We have one more point and we'll reach the point cap here. As you look at the replay, <laughs> yes, looks like everyone was a bit surprised how easy that point is, was rather. About midday here, as we've got a number of games coming up after this. 
The men's team today in Tanabe. Mixed, mixed masters and women's all taking place in Shirahama. As this one coming to a close soon with the Pirates up 12-5. There goes Japan. Olu Olu looking someone streaking deep. But ops to go back in again. Oh, great grab from the Japanese player, 55. Oh, pass just too far apart, far away rather, and too low. And here we go, Philippine Pirates, chance to close this book. It's Maming. And it looks like they are able to punch it in. Filipinas Pirates, not just another win. Great effort from Olu Olu. They had that mini run. Nice adjustments from the D, but it was just a little too late as the Pirates D line was just shot out of a cannon at the start of this game. Six straight breaks which really helped them pull away early. And just shows the sheer dominance of the Filipinas Pirates from start to finish. Oh, even though a little errors from the to begin with, which was caused by the great defense of Japanese Olo Olo, but to your point, maybe a little too late now. As you can see, the celebrations and the high fives from both nations. Exciting to see this game wrapping up so we have just two more games left here in the showcase field and we will definitely back to wrap this up as the gate day day three is almost at the end here live from shirahama beach we'll be back soon for more games